Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks so much for joining. This is the 12th Excel 2007 tutorial and tonight I'm going to touch on some common formulas and functions used in Excel uh, that will hopefully be real beneficial to you. So to start off with I made a list of common operators here that would be typically used in uh, standard, form, um, standard formulas and functions that you'll be working with. So some of them are pretty basic, right? Plus, minus for sub the my, uh, hyphen for subtraction, the asterisk symbol for multiplication, the forward slash for division. When you get down here, um, they become a little bit more advanced. Like if we're using exponentiation, uh, for example, instead of typing two times two times two times two times two, instead of doing two to the fifth like this, we can just say equals two and then we can use that symbol which is the shift six and then put in five so you know if we need to change that to two to the tenth it's real easy to modify okay and it's let and it's uh... makes uh... easier to uh... avoid uh... mistakes and errors concatenation is another nice feature you can use in formulas so if i had a a 5 and a 2 here and I wanted to combine them together I could concatenate those two by saying equals C6 ampersand or concatenate D6 and you see what it does it puts 5 and 2 together it doesn't add them just combines them together so a really common uh, thing here would be if you have names for example John Smith and imagine a whole a long long list of hundreds or thousands of names but you want to merge them together or concatenate them, you could do that. You could say equals C6, ampersand, D6, and you see it combine them together. But in a case like this, you would probably want a space in there, so how you do that is you say C6, ampersand, asterisk, not asterisk, I'm sorry, um, quotation, space, close them out again, ampersand again and you see what it did it put a space in there All right, so that's a real handy handy um, function and then like um, other things you can use greater than or equal to greater um, greater than less than and so forth so just to show you what this does if I put a 5 here and a 2 here and then I use a formula here I say equals 2 uh, I'm sorry D10 which is the value of 2 and I say, and I would say greater than or equal to C10, which is the value of five. Hit return. It's going to tell you false. Okay, so it, it's a it validates true or false for you. If I change it to five, it's going to be true. If I change it to seven, it'll be true. And of course, if I change it to four, it'll be false. Okay, these other ones are self-explanatory. And as you move forward in Excel, you'll start to use these more and more. So a couple other things I want to show you is a really nice feature is you can actually do if statements to customize your formulas and apply them appropriately. So a perfect example here is I've done, I've created a really small spreadsheet here where I have five salespeople, their quarterly sales, and the total sales. What we're going to say here is we're going to put an if statement in and say if the commission, if the total sales are below $75,000, they're going to get a 5% commission. If the sales are above $5,000, they're going to, I'm sorry, if the sales are above $75,000, they're going to get an 8% commission. So how you do that is use an if function. You start off with equals, of course, for a formula, and then you type if. And then you double click that, the um, option there, and it will fill out these values for you. So our logical test, what do we want to test? We want to see if this value here is less than $75,000. And if that value is true, we'll put a comma here and we follow this template. If that value is true, what we do is we multiply, again, the total value, F2, times 0 0.05. Okay? Comma. And what do we do if it's false? We take that total value and we multiply it times 0 0.08 or 8%. And we close close the formula. And you see what it did? It 
gave us 8% of 75,500 because the value, the condition is is false so therefore it runs this formula and I'm going to copy this formula down again to copy the formula down go ahead and highlight the cell um, let go of the mouse drag the mouse over to this corner here it doesn't show on the screen recorder but when you get a cross hash on the mouse click the left mouse button hold it down and drag it down and let go and you see now it's checking F3 F4 and so forth so you see the commissions are much lower when they don't reach the $75,000 um, level. All right, a couple other things I want to show you real quickly are, you'll notice up here when you're under formulas in the menu, you'll have lots of different common functions, math functions. Uh, let's see, you'll have um, logical functions like and, um, false, true, um, auto sum functions, uh, recently used, which would be common ones, financial. So I guess a common financial one uh, would be payment. So click on payment and you'll see it'll give you a, a, um, a template to fill in here which makes it nice and easy. Okay, so we'll do uh, a car loan of 7% real quick. So point, point zero 0.07, if you're doing a monthly payment you want to do a divide it by 12 we'll say a 48 month um, number of periods for four years and we'll do a twenty thousand dollar car loan zero future value and we will um, just hit OK and you'll notice the payment is four hundred seventy eight ninety four hundred seventy eight dollars and ninety two cents we want to change it to say twenty one thousand dollars for example you'll see the payment will modify um, dynamically there okay um, one other quick thing I want to show you is how to use some conversion techniques. So we talked about concatenation before, which is real handy with mailing lists and things like that. Um, but if we want to, we have all these in uppercase, we want to convert them to a more of a proper format. There is a function called proper, and then we can put in the cell that we want to convert and you notice what it did is it took that uppercase name and put it to uppercase first letter and then all the rest of them are in lowercase then we can drag it down and do all five of those names likewise if these were not names and we want to convert them all to lowercase we could do the same thing by changing proper to lower okay you notice they're all in lo lowercase again copy that down you see what it did and finally we want to convert it back to uppercase so I just change it to upper and I drag that down okay that's what all I wanted to show you for tonight what I'm going to do is do another Excel tutorial and I'm going to do more advanced um, functions and formulas so anyways thanks for joining and please don't forget to subscribe thank you